this video I'm going to show you how to make this cool braid with five colors and I wanted it to match a project that I used six colors for so I just uh, picked five of those and before you start braiding you want to take a piece of cardboard and you want to um, cut it into a circle And I haven't tried this technique with any other number of strands, so I've, I just used five. Um, but you need, so one hole in the middle. And then you need one slot for every strand that you have, plus one. So, uh, so that means I need six slots. And you'll need that extra empty slot to move your uh, your yarn to. So this is how you make the cardboard disc. And then you basically just take one strand of each of your five strands and knot them together. You put the knot through here. So let's let's just uh, show you. So you knot them all together and how much you leave over is depending on what you want to do with it. If you want to sew it to something then you'll need some more um, yardage. So you pull the end through here so that the knot is on the other side and you might want to attach uh, a weight on here for example one of those tablecloth weights that would do really nicely and then you um, bring each of the strands into a slot I'm not sure yet how much length of yarn you need for a finished project of say 20 centimeters but um, ideally you want to cut these because that'll make it easier okay so now you have all the strands in a slot and an empty slot and we are going to be moving one strand over the other to that empty slot and the rhythm is going to be one one two so first we want to skip one, that means we take this one to put over one strand. So one, one, two, that was one, now we skip one again. So I'm going to take this, skip it over one thread to the empty slot, and now two. So we want to skip two threads. See what I mean? So we skip one, one, two, one, one, two. And then see, so the, the knot, uh, it easily comes back out. So that's why you want to hang a weight onto here. And if you continue to do this over and over, you will get a nice cord like this that you can use as, I don't know, a bracelet or something to hang something by, or uh, you might use it as a back strap or whatever. And I always tend to, so I don't complete it in one go. So when I put it down, I make sure that I completed the sequence one, one, two, so that when I pick it up again, I know that I just start again with one, one, two. So one, one, two, see, and you want to 
um, untangle your threads every once in a while. So it's easiest when you just one and then make your finger slide to the end of that thread. One, two. And as the cord gets longer, you can hold on to it uh, if you don't have a weight. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.